So if you use desktop mode on your smartphone, or uh, you have a portable computer or a gaming system, you need a nice monitor that's capable of getting the job done. Well, I'm reviewing the QQH 15.6 inch full HD monitor. Let me give you my thoughts about it. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So what you're looking at right here is the QQH 15.6 inch full HD monitor. And it's very interesting, but you know what? Before I give you guys my thoughts about it, let's talk about what you get in a box if you purchase this item. So looking at the box, it showcased the monitor when you look at it in the front and turning it over to the back, you have all the tech specs. So when opening up this box, you're greeted to the monitor itself, the user manual, USB-C to USB-C cable, you have HDMI to mini HDMI, and you have a power brick. And all of that, I seen the price as low as $129. I will leave the links down in the description below. Okay, so let's talk about the tech specs. The QQH is the 15.6 inch, 1920 by 1080, 60 hertz IPS display. 16 by nine aspect ratio here with the display. And as far as colors, we are over 16 million colors here with a color temperature of 68, 6,800 Kelvin that could be adjustable in settings. Now this monitor has dual speakers on the back that's rated at one watt, which I'm going to talk about this video a little bit later on. Now this monitor has a full lineup of peripherals, such as 3.5 millimeter audio output, a type C function port, mini HDMI port, type C power supply port, a track wheel that you can go into your menu settings and stuff like that. And lastly, you have the power slash back button. So the only thing that's missing from this uh, monitor is that it does not have a display port. Just like they have some monitors has it, but this monitor doesn't have it. But other than that, this monitor is fully loaded. Now looking at the back and going over the monitor, you got the dual speaker set up here on the back. Also, you have a kickstand and you got all your ports here on one side of the monitor. Now looking at this monitor, it has nice detailed colors and it's bright enough for a room like this or office setting. Now there's a few ways you could connect this device, right? You could connect this monitor to a computer, which I have it a mini HDMI to HDMI with a power port uh, connected to it. I connected it to my Galaxy Z Fold 4, which DeX automatically pops up when you connect it and you don't need a power source. And all you gotta do is connect the keyboard and mouse to your Z Fold 4 and you have a complete workstation or any other desktop mode devices that's out there. So you can have a complete workstation with this monitor. Now, if you want to charge your device, you're able to do that just by connecting a USB type C to the charging port here to get that full charging solutions. So it is a few ways to connect this. You could connect it via smartphones. You could connect it uh, to your Xbox or gaming console. You could connect this USB type C to anything that uh, you want to display out a monitor source. But one of the cool things about this is that since it has a kickstand, if you are on a PC, you can use the kickstand and turn it around and use it in portrait mode, which is really nice. Uh, and then go into your computer settings and change the aspect ratio of the monitor so you can view it in portrait mode, which is a nice function for a display like this. Now I wish the kickstand was a little adjustable, but unfortunately this kickstand is not too adjustable. So you need to keep that in mind. Now, as far as viewing angles, it's okay. You do see a little fl fluctuation when you off access when looking at the display. So you need to know that, that it, if you want to get the full experience of this monitor, kind of keeping it in front is the way to go. Because if you go kind of slightly left or right, or even up or down, you definitely will see some fluctuations in color with this monitor. 
So let's talk a little bit about audio. This monitor is rated at one watt. I would recommend using external speakers or use the 3.5 millimeter audio jack to get great sound. But you know what? Let me go and let y'all guys listen to some sound here coming out of this monitor and I'm gonna put it at 100% volume. So check this out. Okay, so let's talk about some of the pros and cons. First, the pros. Look, I really do like the colors of this monitor. I mean, they're really good. Deep blacks, very detailed colors. I really do like the color representation that's coming out of this monitor. Next, this monitor is smartphone desktop mode ready, which is really good. Connecting the smartphone that has desktop mode, you are good to go to use this as a full workstation. So that is a pro. And lastly, the kickstand is a feature that I really do like, right? So I really do like the kickstand that comes with this monitor. But as you know, no product is perfect. So let's talk about some of the kinds, some of the opportunities with this monitor. First, as I like the kickstand, the kickstand feature is very good, but it's a bit flimsy. It kind of flaps all over the place when using this monitor, if it's not closed. So just keep that in mind. And lastly, uh, the dual speakers on the back, uh, even though they was, even though they are rated at one watt, you definitely need some external speakers when using this monitor. So there's some opportunities there uh, with this monitor. You know, some of the cons. I like to talk about the pros and cons with every product that I review. Okay, so let me give you my final thoughts here. I really do like the colors of this monitor and it's bright enough for a room like this or office. The build quality, even though it's all plastic, is really good because at the price point, especially if you could get it on sale. I really do like the port selection and desktop mode works very good with this monitor. So no worries there, use a type C connection because it works very well. This is Eric the Tech Preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the QQH and all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.